I know one of Ikolo. Ikolo Mo. Welcome to my page. Here I discuss issues as it, as it affects us as Igbos. Political issues, religious issues, cultural issues, social cultural issues, as it affects us as Igbo. Today I want to discuss about sacred trees in Igbo land. What these trees represent and why one should not be in a haste to cost to cut down this tree if he or she happens to have any of these trees around the environment he or she is residing or living in. If you also happen to have any of these trees I will be discussing today in your environment, it's important, it's pertinent that you find out the importance the rule of this tree to know if the tree is just ordinary or there is something connected to it. Remember, our ancestors were pagans, and some pagans worship trees. So, some trees might be ordinary to you physically, but it has a lot of spiritual and other religious connotation. So, being in a, in a hurry, to cut down trees that you do not know its meaning, its cultural meaning, in your environment, especially in Igbo land, I'm not saying outside Igbo land, these trees are, as I'm discussing, as I'm, I'm going to discuss today, is if you have any of these trees in your village, in your community, where you reside, in Ali Igbo, you should not be in a haste to cut, cut them. You should also, if you have to be in a haste, be in a haste to find out what this tree means. To know if it has any spiritual connotation. To know if the tree is on a mission. If it's on a mission, what does it require? Is it clothes that you have to put on? Is it tree that you have to clothe? Is it tree that you have to propitiate? Is it tree that brings um, a kind of open door? You need to find out. So, before I list these trees, I think um, we need to know what makes trees sacred in Igbo land. We need to know what makes trees sacred. The first one is that tree houses spirits. The more that are they live, they reside in trees. Just like human beings reside in houses, spirits reside in trees. At times, trees are like a meeting spot for some fraternal spirits. Trees, some trees are meeting spots for some fraternal spirits or kindred spirit, or ancestral spirit. The second reason why some trees are sacred is because they are strong and durable. They can live for a thousand years or more. A tree that can live, that can stay, that its lifespan is up to a thousand years, is not an ordinary tree. It's not an ordinary tree, just from physical perspective. Okay, so, some trees are sacred because of their durable nature. They can stay up to a thousand years. Now, the second, uh, sorry, the third reason why some trees are sacred is that some of these trees cannot be planted. No matter how much you aspire, no matter how much you love some of these trees, some of them cannot be planted. You, you will not even see its seed to plant it. Some even if you try to uproot, uproot, uproot it from when it's still small to go and transplant, if you dare it, it will die off. There is how they transplant trees in Igbo land. Assuming that this, if you find this kind of tree within your environment and you do not like where it's coming out, there is, there is a process for it, how it can be transplanted. 
Number four, these sacred trees will always be seen. They converge wherever any serious ordinary practitioner seeks to set up his sacred groove. Any serious practitioner, any serious practitioner that decides to have an ukwabu, that decides to be serious and sets up an ukwabu, where he or she will practice, or where he will practice ordinana as a public servant, or what some people call the beer, these trees must start converging at that area, at that spot, by their own. By their own, it just it will take a matter of years. Let's say between a year, two, three, four, five, six years, you will start seeing many of these trees converging around that sacred spot. That's what makes them sacred. Because they know that there is a new energy ground. Now, so another reason why some of these trees are sacred is that some of them have curative and fertility elements. Some of them have curative and fertility elements. Now, the sixth reason is that their branches, leaves, fruits, barks, roots are indispensable in the practice of Igbo Odinana. Remember, I said that whenever any serious Odinana practitioner decides to set up an Okuago, these three will start converging. So some of the reasons that they converge is that they, it makes the job of this ordinary practitioner easier because a person will need the leaves, the roots, um, the fruits, the backs of these trees, these sacred trees in, in, the, in his practice. There are some jobs that he, that he will want to do. He will need to get a root or a leaf or back, be it um, from herbal or medicinal point of view, or be it a job that is psychic in nature. Now, the seventh reason is that some of these trees have gender. Interestingly, some of these trees have gender. So these trees are not just trees, though that most trees, there are, yes, most trees have gender, have male and female gender. So some of these sacred trees also have are either male or female. Now let's find out these trees. The list I'm going to give out today does not mean that there are about 10. It doesn't mean that these 10 are just it. It's not. Yes, we still have like few more, but the ones I'm listing today is the ones I'm should I say 98 or 99 percent sure of? The first one on the list is Oji, Oji Okosisi, Oji Okosisi. Unfortunately, most of these trees I don't know their botanical names, so I will stick to their Igbo names. Uh, if in the course of your own research you can find out their own botan botanical names, I will glad uh, to also know them. If you know them, I will glad to hear from you. Oji Okosisi. Oji is one of the most sacred trees in Igbo land. Also no Sisiana Maba Aquacha or Yomaba Aqua. If you see any tree that is clothed or a white cloth are wound round its base, it means that the tree is sacred. So Oji is one of the trees that is worshipped in Igbo land. It's one of the sacred trees that we have. Also, it's one of the trees. That you cannot plant. No matter how much you try, you cannot plant oji. Neither can you transplant it without following the cultural method for uh, designed to transplant it. If you try to transplant it from agricultural point of view, it will die. 
the second one is Ngu. Ngu is another powerful sacred tree that we have in Igbo land. It doesn't mean that it's in only Igbo land that you have you have these trees. No. No. You can see them outside Igbo land, but it might not be how we value them. They might not be sacred outside um, in some of those places. But in Igbo land, these are our own sacred trees. When I mean Igbo land right now, I'm talking about in totality. It's hard that you enter any Igbo community, that these trees that I'm listing, that they are not the same. Now, the third one is Ofo. Ofo. Ofo tree. This is the tree that Igbos um, get their Ofo from. It's not plugged. This Ofo has to fall. It, if, if it falls, you go to the base of the Ofo tree. You drop money or you drop something before you now pick it up. Pick up the branches, the fallen branches, and use it for whatever purpose you desire to. The fourth one is Apple. Apple. Apple is one of the sacred trees, one of the most sacred trees you have. We have in Igbo land. Apple the tree, yeah, it has thorns. It has stones around it. The fifth one is Akwojuku. Akwojuku is another particular kind of, is a kind of palm tree, but it's not like your ordinary palm tree. So it's one of the sacred um, trees in Igbo land. It's not um, a kind of palm tree that you see quite often. It's, it's rare. The sixth one is Ebenebe. Ebenebe is a very tall tree. The seventh one is Ogilisi. I think Ogilisi is, is sacred, but it's also common. It's sacred, but it's also common. The eighth one is Odala. The eighth one is Odala. The ninth one is Aura. The ninth one is Aura. Aura. Then the tenth one is Abosi. The tenth one is Abosi. The um, Ogilisi, Aura, and Abosi. They are sacred. But people cut them anyhow. But at times you have to be careful before you cut them. But the other seven are the ones that you have to be extremely careful. Cutting, cutting them down without finding out if they represent something. In fact, in most cases, they always represent something. Might lead to serious personal or family problem. Cutting any of these trees down without finding out what they represent or the role they play in a given family or in a, in a compound or in a community can lead to serious problem. So why I took out time to list these trees is for us to know this, identify them around, around you in your compound in your community and ensure that you protect them and find out what this tree represents the job is doing in your community because they are sacred trees like i say don't be in a haste to cut them without finding out if they are just ordinary or there is something attached to it if you have any question in respect to these sacred trees please Feel free to drop your question in the comment section. Thank you. If you love the video you just watched, please like and subscribe. And also share the video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video if you love it. Thank you.
y Colombo.